This video will explain the Smart GFI technology and how it can be used to set up a safe work environment for your test operators. What is Smart GFI? Smart GFI is Associated Research Incorporated's patent ground fault interrupt circuit designed for operator protection. How does this circuit protect the test operator? During a normal high pot test, all leakage current flows from the high voltage side and back through the return circuit. However, what if the return circuit were open during the high pot test? This will create a shock hazard as the DUT is energized. The same scenario could occur were the return lead to fall off the DUT during a high pot test. If a test operator were to contact the DUT while a test is being performed, they would receive a potentially harmful shock. The Smart GFI circuit will shut down high voltage if leakage current through the ground fault current sensor exceeds the Smart GFI threshold. The Smart GFI threshold varies depending upon the instrument. On some instruments, the GFI threshold is 450 microamps. Other instruments have an adjustable threshold of 400 microamps to 5 milliamps. Make sure to check the specifications of the instrument to be sure of the Smart GFI threshold. This is a high-speed shutdown circuit that disables the high voltage in less than one millisecond, preventing the operator from receiving a shock. As you can see in this demonstration, high voltage is making direct contact with the ground circuit. The Smart GFI immediately shuts down, preventing the operator from receiving the hazard. So what makes this GFI smart? Smart GFI automatically recognizes the DUT's configuration and automatically enables or disables the GFI circuit accordingly. In the case that the DUT is earth grounded, the return ground sensor circuit automatically disables the GFI circuit and the instrument operates in a grounded return mode of operation. Since the DUT has a solid ground, it does not pose a shock hazard to the operator. This mode allows the user to perform their tests normally without the operator having to manually change the instrument's configuration. For more information on electrical safety testing, visit our website at www.asresearch.com.